In this short video, what we're going to do is look at a typical task three elements of cost in question uh, for the AAT. So task three, it is, involves looking at FIFO, LIFO, AVCO. So the question we've got in front of us here, a company uses weighted average costs, AVCO, to value the issue and inventory of raw materials. The following record shows the raw material movements for raw material R10 in December. So what it's doing is asking us to complete the inventory record card using the AVCO method. Uh, cost per kilogram should be completed in pounds to four decimal places. So that's a point to note when we're looking at this. So first thing we need to do is obviously we can see, have a look at it. We can see on the 1st of December, we had a balance of 20,000 kilograms, uh, costing a total of 160,000 pounds. On the 6th of Sept uh, September, December, we received a further 25,000 kilograms, valued at 10 pounds 70 per kilogram, giving us a total cost of 267 thousand five hundred pounds so what we have to do is add these to the balance that's already in the cupboard as it were so obviously we add the twenty thousand and the twenty five thousand together so it gives us a quantity of forty five thousand kilograms in the store we then add up the total cost. So we add the 160,000 to the 267,500, which gives us 427,500 pounds. So a simple job on the calculator there to get that done. The next thing we have to do is look at our issue on the 19th of December. So for this, we have to find out the cost, i.e. the average cost of our issues. So we get our total cost, our 427,500, and divide it by the 45,000 kilograms. And if you do that on your calculator, it will come up with £9.50 or 9.5. But remember, it says to four decimal places. So the cost per kilogram is 9.5000 four decimal places and then all we do is obviously times the 30,000 by the £9.50 which gives us 285 and then the final thing we do is work out what we've got left in the cupboard so we take the 30,000 away from our 45,000 that we had initially which leaves us 15,000 kilograms and then obviously we just take away our 285,000 pounds from our 427,500 pounds which gives us 142,500 pounds so that's the inventory record finished um, as far as the AVCO is concerned. Now the second part of this is asking us to complete the following table to show the value of the issues on the 19th of December and the inventory balance um, if an alternative or the alternative valuation methods were used. So first of all we're asked FIFO, first in, first out. So the first thing we need to do is, obviously, if you haven't already got a piece of paper in front of you, your pencil and your calculator, and the first in basically is the stock that was, or inventory that was in the cupboard at the start on the 1st of December. So we're going to take that full 20,000, valued at 160,000 pounds. And then obviously we need to add 10, thousand of the 25,000 that came in on the 6th of December. So we times the 10,000 by our £10.70 per kilogram, which gives us £107,000. So we add our £107,000, which is our inventory that's come in on the 6th of December, to the 167,000, the value of the inventory that was already in the cupboard, and this gives us the value of our issue 
as £267,000. Now, to value the closing inventory, I suggest all you do is you total up the total value of all the inventory that came in before the issue. So in this case, if we add the 160,000 to the 267,500, that will give us 427,500 pounds. All we need to do now is take away the value of our issue from that figure, and that will give us 160,500 pounds. Now the next one, what we've got to do is use last in first out. So this time, all we're going to do is take the full 25,000 that came in on the 6th of December, and then we need to add 5,000 that was already in the store, okay, on the 1st of December. So we know the value of the 25,000, that's 267,500. So again, all we have to do now is work out what the value of a kilogram was when of the inventory that was in the store on the 1st of December. So basically, if I divide my £160,000 by 20, I come up with £8 per unit. I said that was 20, that's 20,000 kilograms, I should have said. Okay, so it's eight pounds per unit. So I have 5,000 units on the 6th of December. Uh, sorry, from the 1st of December. Okay, so these are valued at 40,000 pounds. Add that to the inventory, the 267,500. That gives me the value of the issue of 307,500 pounds. And again, in the FIFO calculation we worked out earlier, we worked out the total value of the inventory that came in was 427,500. So we just take away the 307,500 from that, which gives us a hundred and twenty-seven, uh, sorry, 120,000 pounds. And that is it, that is task three completed.